Hello everyone, welcome to the United Way, Manchester United 1, Copenhagen 0. This was a game in which United had to get the three point, guys. But yeah, you know, we don't have nights like this, but I want to ask you guys, tell me who your man of the match was. You know, before the penalty, I thought Ericsson was the man of the match because I think he came in and changed the game. Harry Maguire's goal, I mean, anyone could score. You cannot just give a man of the match for Harry Maguire because of a goal. But I thought Ericsson really changed the way we play. Tell me what you think below, guys. But because I want to tell you guys something. I think the man of the match today, it's uh, Onana. So if Onana is your man of the match, click that like on the video. See, I just want to tell you guys that as a Manchester United fan, I've watched a lot of games. I started watching United games in the late 80s. And uh, we always had a very aggressive way of playing, very aggressive way of playing. And that has been the cornerstone of the way you, I mean, the United way, since the channel name is called the United way, because that aggressive way of playing where we always go for a goal. We don't care about this. Um, I mean, conceding goals, the most important thing for us to go ahead. But there's something going wrong with this United present United team, which has, they haven't shown character. They have shown some level of mental weakness. They have shown some limitation. I don't know if because it's the... Is the period we have of social media period some of you might help me that maybe the social media period has destroyed manchester united not only united but the modern footballer because playing for manchester united was not a given i mean so players came here to give the best it was the epidemic of uh, of uh, football just like real madrid or just like most of the top clubs but if you see the way football is in these days players are really gone uh, uh they, 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 there is no there is no there is no drive playing for Manchester United. You can't see them, the players. We know Sir uh, Bobby, uh, Bobby Charlton had the, the, the game was dedicated to to this uh, legend, uh, uh, May Soren in peace. But United didn't show anything. But anyway, uh, we went away with the three points. If United drew the game today, it would have been out of the Champions League. At least we do have some hopes. We And I want to say something. We better play better in Copenhagen because I don't see Manchester United winning in Copenhagen if we play in a similar way. I think under pressure, United, we are not good. We don't control the midfield. The biggest problem we have in Manchester United has been the midfield. United, I still don't understand why uh, the manager invested a lot of money for, for a player like Mount and not using the player. He, because, I mean, it's clear that Mount doesn't fit the system, but he's not using the player. Why did he spend such a lot of money for the Mount? So I think for those of you who um, have been hard on Ten Hag, I think that, I, I mean, I was saying, I just wanted to say something and I can say it. If Ten Hag lost the game today, I will slowly be supporting those who wanted Ten Hag out in the sense that I was because there is no reason for seeing Manchester United. If you watch the way we played, we don't play as a team. Maybe some of you might tell me. Talking as someone who played a little bit like in a team, like a team, and a guy who actually motivated Manchester United in the playing style. You had a player coming in like Ganacho. Yes, he missed some two or more chances, but you could see that he was in for trying to get a change for Manchester United. I think tactically we wanted we're playing with one holding midfielder, and that is a crime. One holding midfielder, it's a crime. I'm just looking at the picture the video here. They are showing the. Last time United uh, won the champ, the, the, the Premier League, uh, 2013. Oh, 13 is, I mean, basically 10 years now. Some of you have never, some well, United fans have never seen United lifted in the Premier League. <laughs> well, uh, well, let's talk about the match reaction here and the player ratings. That's why you sleep, you click the like on the video. But if you want to tell tell me, I just want to have a question for you. Tell me who your man of the match is. I would love to hear your view, your point. And we, in, as a fan, we have different views. Most of you have a views here. So your, op your opinion. So please lay them down. It's very uh, interesting to read them also as a fan. But guys, please make sure you click the like on the video and share the video with friends. I would love love to hear your opinion as i said earlier yeah so going to the player ratings let's go straight with the goalkeeper onana i think onana this is, was a massive game this was a game which we had to win i would give onana a strong eight today because just the penalty just if onana had to have six six you know he did 6.6 .6 over 10 or 6.5 but i give onana an eight in this game why because just that penalty has kept out in the in the champions league for now, at least for now. Just the penalty saving has kept us into the Champions League. 
So Onana for me is an eight. At Veran, for me, Veran, we had some good pressure, good organization came from Veran. I gave Veran a 6.5. Harry Magway, six. Six is not a bad over 10. Regulon had, a, I think, a 60 minutes uh, of play. He didn't do much. You can see that someone who just came in maybe a bit earlier. Uh, I give him a 5.5. Um, uh, also, I'll give a, a 6.4. For Diego Dalo, don't forget, we are not playing against Manchester City. We will play them on the Saturday, the derby. But we are playing against a team in which we can manage. A team which we are better. A team that can be, that will not really do well in the Premier League. So, I wouldn't be throwing figures out there. Holding me for Amrabat, 5.5. I don't really know what he did wrong, but he was substituted. I think Ten Hag, I have a suspicion that he maybe had a knock or maybe didn't fit into the tactical way where Ten Hag wants him to play in that setting game. But playing with a, with a single pivot, it's also a dead end for Manchester United because, guys, you agree with me that United, we are not working hard as a team. You agree with me. That is what I have noticed. Then, um, uh, talking about uh, uh, the uh, who played in front of him, Bruno. Bruno was a, was a quiet six. Some would say 5.5 for Bruno. Bruno has been really average all this while. And um, you know, also another player which I will talk with is McTominay. For some reason, McTominay gives a score a goal and also concede a goal. This is the second penalty he has done. He has uh, had uh, in this week. I think McTominay, for to be honest, McTominay is a difficult one. You know, when a player scores a goal uh, in a situation like McTominay with all the hype with the media, you always want to give him a chance. McTominay is a clear. Uh, Average uh, six for me, I think six, not a bad score because, uh, I mean, he plays several roles, holding midfield, started like a 10, holding midfield. Bruno Fernandez, as I said earlier, 5.5. Marcus Rashford, I'll give Marcus Rashford a five. Marcus Rashford isn't gelling in the team. He's so individualistic. He has improved in the sense that he also now give passes. He tried to be collective, but he is Marcus Rashford and he hasn't scored goals, which is which is a very bad thing for a player of that caliber. One of the highest paid players in the team. Um, uh, Anthony also, I give Anthony a five, honestly. Rasmus Holland, interesting. He didn't score a goal, but you can see he wanted to play. You can see that he gives the minimum, which is that effort, which most of you would say, which most of you who don't even play football would give for Manchester United, that effort. So I think uh, Marcus Rashford, um, I th sorry, I think... Um, I I I I think Rasmus Holland was uh, a, a six a six for me. He didn't score a goal, but he did the main things that you would you would expect from an attacker. And Ten Hag in this game, and, and I mean another game of Ten Hag. I am not happy with the way Ten Hag the, the team is playing. I am not happy with Ten Hag uh, the uh, uh, the way he's arranging the team. It is not encouraging, and I think Manchester United. I mean, a fantastic season for United this season would be the fifth. <laughs> we we would not, we, I mean, it would be very hard for us to be the fourth with the kind of mentality. I, uh, I mean, I've watched the past three games. We will need to turn things around. Yes, we are winning games, but we are not playing as a team. If we play hard, have this team, we will, we will be destroyed. And uh, Harry Maguire, I gave Harry Maguire a six. He scored a goal. Some of you might give Harry Maguire a seven, but I think we should give Harry Maguire a seven. Because Harry Maguire scored that goal, which uh, was very vital. I know, I know most of you who are all about not really looking at the tactical point of the game would just give it to Harry Maguire as the main guy. Yes, because his goal gave us a victory. But also, it's not only about the goal. It's about moments, people who change uh, the whole attitude or the whole tactical movement of the, of the team. And I think um, uh, Ericsson did that. And Ericsson also... I give Ericsson a seven. I thought he was going to be the man of the match. And let me put it this way. Ericsson a seven, Harry Magui a seven. So you guys should be happy. But my man of the match, as I said, it's eight. It's a goalkeeper, um, Onana. After a very difficult time that Onana has been all this while uh, having criticism rightfully. And he has finally um, delivered for Manchester United. So guys, I mean, now, now we move to the next game. That is Copenhagen on Saturday. And uh, yeah, it would be, I mean, that would be this Manchester United uh, City on Saturday. Manchester United, I'm mixing my words here. Manchester United playing in Manchester City on Saturday. 
uh, and United, that is a derby which <laughs> I think we have no chance to win that game. Honestly, the question is how, I mean, it's coming from a Manchester United fan. We don't have any chance to win that game. I just hope we put off a performance. That's where I will be uh, sticking on. Hey, guys, I am so happy for the victory today, even if I still have some doubts about us qualifying for the next round. Hopefully, we can be... Um, we can we can surprise the we can surprise all the pundits and do well for the Champions League. But we really need to start playing our football as a team. I think it's getting the time is against us. But yeah, surprises having football and hopefully we will give some surprises for the not only for the fans but also for the rivals. Guys, it was great speaking to you and uh, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye bye.